Well, for me, it was a whole experience. I, I mean, it, it just, it's just hard to condense it. First of all, to be there with Maya. Maya was super excited. She's a Rabbit Ranger fan. Well, she was, she had like a bling bling shirt on and a jacket and Dallas Cowboy boots. And everywhere we went, people were stopping or like, hey, stop, where'd you get that? <laughs> you know, you go girl. I mean, it, it was, it was, it was. So I, 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 I was really enjoying watching how people were reacting to her because, you know, you know Maya. She, Maya will go to all of the clearance racks and buy stuff on the cheap. But she makes it look like a million bucks, right? And so she just got that, that, that thing. Going down to the field, right, and, and being there on the ground and watching the players warm up uh, was, was, I mean, you, you, you have to... You have to admire those guys because they train for years and years and years and years, and, and they're there playing at the highest levels night after night. Uh, but just watching them, you know, run and warm up was amazing. Then I, I was given the ball and said, "You stand here at the tee, uh, and then when they call, when you start introducing you, walk across. Don't step on the white chalk line, <laughs> and get up on the mound. You can preach from. You, you can either pitch from the front or from from the top of the mound, but don't step on the rubber." So I decided I was going to get as high up to the top as possible. And then the announcer starts announcing, right, and, and introducing me. And I was so like, wave to the crowd. So I'm waving. And the people are actually cheering. I said, man, I'm a United Methodist bishop, given all that we've been through. There are going to be some hecklers and booers in the crowd. But I guess there were so many Methodists that they drowned out everybody if there were any, any naysayers. But it was amazing to hear from both sides of Methodists that were there. Uh, and then I said, all right, stand back and fire it across. And, and uh, I, was, I, I wasn't nervous because I, you know, I, I played baseball since I was a kid. And so, uh, but I, I did want to get over the plate. And believe me, 60 feet is further than what it sounds. <laughs> so I got it across, and then I met the, the coach who caught me. And uh, he said, hey, that, that ball had a cut on it. I said, well, that, was, that was my slider. <laughs> <laughs> and we took a picture and got back, and then I, I got the game ball. And so that was, that was exciting. And then we spent the rest of the, the nine innings just talking to Methodists that were at the ballpark. I didn't sit down till the ninth inning because we were from, from the first all the way up to the ninth. People were just coming up, taking pictures, and I heard stories. There was, there was a, a church that came over from, from the north. It said, we're a Choctaw church, and we raise funds to come here. Another group brought a bus. You know, there were people from Waco and from different parts of the conference, and they just had a blast. Everybody was smiling. You know, they were all together and taking pictures and connecting with each other. And, you know, it was, it was nice to, to fellowship outside of the church box and just something the regular people do. And, and, uh, and then, of course, for, for us, all of our family was there. All of our four children and two spouses were there and our grandchildren were there. So, yeah, it was... It was it was the, 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 the totality of it all. I'm just, I'm still processing. And, but uh, it was uh, something I'll never forget um, to have that opportunity and, and to, you know, to be introduced as a as United Methodist Bishop at, a Texas, at the World Champion Texas Ranger Field. <laughs>